Hello, I'm Bradley and welcome to my channel. First things first, if you're new here, please subscribe. You don't have to, of course, but it really helped me out and where I'm trying to get the channel to be. Okay, so today I want to talk to you about a passion of mine, which is all things skincare. Now, today we are going to be looking at the Man Cave uh, range of skincare. So they also do hair care and um, we haven't reviewed that on the channel, um, but that will be something which will be coming up. Uh, but today we are looking at the Man Cave for a naturally healthy you protective moisturizer, predominantly it is aimed at men's skincare but we're going to be looking at it so it may well be something which a whole range of different people might want to try you may actually think do you know from what we've talked about today you wouldn't want to try this uh, I, I do find that skincare is so so interesting because when you feel comfortable in your skin when you're when whether it's if you've got an irritation from shading or whether perhaps you have quite oily skin perhaps you suffer with breakouts or if you get quite stressed and your skin changes Good skincare has the power to ultimately transform how you present yourself, your confidence on so many elements, it really, really does. Now, if you purchase a product which doesn't work for you, then that can absolutely add to the kind of negative experience you might be finding yourself in. So for me, for example, at the moment, we are in this part of the world, we're going through some warmer weather. Um, now I bought this and it was really, really quite warm. Um, I say quite warm, around 25, maybe 26 degrees. And then that sort of passed us. And then we went back to a bit more of cooler weather. So I didn't really use it too much. Um, and then we came back to hotter weather. And right now it's anywhere between throughout the day, between 25, yesterday we had 29, so it's quite, it's quite warm, and I do enjoy warmer weather, um, but I really do like to look after my skin in terms of the sun, of course prevention is far better than cure, so I always use uh, sun protection, and I look after my skin, I use moisturiser every single day, so I'm always looking out, I have my go-to sort of favourite products, and my products which are literally on my heart, because I was brought up with those brands, so I always go back to those brands. For example, Nivea, Nivea for men, those type of products from my nan, my mum, my dad, that kind of influence will always stay with me. But I do like to explore of all different uh, sort of skincare products. Of course, predominantly for men, because men's skin is different to women, and I do find that both women's skin and men's skin, it requires something slightly different. You can absolutely chop and change. For example, we've just talked about Nivea. There are products which both men and women can and use, and you can have some great benefits from but I think sometimes I do explore with the uh, different sort of aimed men's uh, skincare products because of shaving to be quite honest with you I am notoriously poor at shaving no matter how many sensitive top-end razors I buy I always end up giving myself a, a very uncomfortable rash here um, I don't know whether that's my skin or whether it's I've tried so many different ways of shaving on, and different sort of foams and gels and sort of uh, all sorts of products. Um, I think I've found something which works for me at the moment, but I'm always looking out for products which kind of soothe and tone and sort of make my skin a bit more comfortable, as well as looking after my skin. And today in the Man Cave uh, Protective Moisturizer, it is a sun protection factor of 20 and we've got some anti-aging properties. Now, a lot of people jump straight away, why on earth are you using that? Again, let's remember, Remember, prevention is better than cure. Now, our skin is open to so many elements, whether you're in an office, with air conditioning, to in the winter, with the elements of winter, and of course in, in the summer, with the elements of sun, whether you go swimming, for example, and it can just be the daily aggressors, which is in our environment and the world we live in today. So it really is a good measure to look after your skin on a daily basis every single day pick a product which works for you and sometimes you know what skin the requirements of skin changes in the summer you may not need so much of a more of a richer moisturizer than what you use in the winter uh, some days you may not necessarily need too much at all you only may need a little bit or a little bit of sun protection factor first thing in the morning and then after shaving or when you've had your sort of uh, your shower or your bath in the evening you may just need to use a little bit then the requirements change all the time so that's what we're going to be talking about today um, so, as I say, I've used this before. I don't believe we've reviewed any of uh, Man Cave uh, products on the channel uh, at the moment. I've gifted them for different family members before, so I know they are good, but I have never seen this protective moisturiser before, and I really like products which have a sun protection factor in that, but I'm always quite kind of cautious because I always find that products aimed for men's uh, skin with a sun protection factor can be very heavy, and one of my absolute things I hate in men's skincare is if it leaves a shine 
Okay, I really do not like that. I like a matte and a mattifying uh, product. My skin can sometimes be quite dry, but it can also uh, tend to be quite oily. And um, not all the time, but I do wear a lot of hair products. For example, like today, what I've done here, um, I wore my hair in some quite sort of slick back styles for a couple of days. So not a lot of my subscribers will know this, but what I do tend to do on the days when I'm just working from home, and particularly now when it's really quite hot as well, is when I've washed my hair in the morning, now people might find that that's absolutely crazy. I do wash my hair every single day. And uh, what I do with that, just so I'm looking after the nourishment in my hair, because it is past my shoulders now, I really really love the Philip Kingsley range so I use the Philip Kingsley elasticizer I dampen my hair back then I use about half a golf ball size amount through the palms of my hands and then I literally put it through the lengths and ends of my hair and then tie it back into sort of like a men's top knot style and just leave it then the next time I wash it and I go to style it it's super soft super looked after and it's just really well nourished if I don't do that then I use like a leave-in uh, sort of oil whether that be rosemary sometimes I use a coconut oil sometimes I like the Palmer's olive oil spray which is really great I don't put that on my roots but I do put it through the lengths and ends and I just put it back like what I've got here so though, if you're wondering what I've done in my hairstyle today that's what we're doing let's get back to this moisturizer so I have used this this morning now noting what we've talked about, what I don't like in skincare, let's talk about the actual product itself. So it's Man K for a naturally healthier you, protected moisturizer, sun protection factor 20, anti-aging properties. Now why, again, prevention better than cure? I am soon to be 31, of course, uh, no longer in my 20s. And of course, just wanting to look after my skin. It's not never wanting to age. It's not ever wanting to accept your age. It's a blessing to grow older and to be healthy is to be rich. It really, really is. And I think as I come through my later 20s to my early 30s and the problems which I've had, I really do appreciate that. And with certain family members going through health issues and losing my dear Nan, who is my absolute world, who is up above with the Lord, with me all the time, has really, really taught me that to grow older is a blessing. And if we do worry about age, do you know what? There are so many things in this in this life which you can use that energy for because never worry about a number. You can do whatever at any age as long as you're healthy and well. So to be healthy and well, you are rich. On that note, anti-aging properties, really, really great in here. I love a product which has got anything like that in as well. We know it's got the sun protection factor 20 to help protect against ultraviolet rays. It helps counteract signs of aging, it says here, made using recycled plastic, which is really, really great. It's 100 mils. On the back here, it says, we believe that the products you use every day should be more than just a wash or moisturize your skin. It's about looking and feeling your best from inside and out. I love that because it truly is. I always say with our hair um, and skin's very much the same. If you feel good, your skin looks good, then it's the inner expression of good health, happiness, energy, just a great way of looking at things if you can. It says it made with naturally derived ingredients, vegan friendly form, uh, formulations, made using recycled plastic and completely recyclable. Okay, so Man Cave SPF 20 protective moisturizer uses ultraviolet filters to help protect from UV uh, rays whilst locking in hydration and helping to counteract the signs of aging. So straight away, ingredients which I can see it's very, very small, so please forgive me because I haven't got my glasses right in front of me. But I can see in here, so we've got water, we've got shea butter, we've got sweet almond oil in here, we've got aloe vera juice in here, we have got jojoba seed oil in here, uh, we've got some other natural oils in here, we have got some herbs I can see in here, we've got some rosemary leaf oil, we have got some lime oil, we've got pepper fruit oil, we've got thyme flower leaf oil, uh, we've got a lot and it does say just at the bottom here if you do open this I've had these comment a couple of comments like this from a couple of my subscribers due to the natural contact contents within this product colors may vary okay so directions it recommends that you apply to face and neck until fully absorbed avoid contact with eyes of course naturally then of course you've got here the website mancaveinc.com uh, proudly made in the UK so great packaging uh, price. I only paid six pounds for this off of Amazon. You can shop around for this because it does vary considerably. It is a really, really great product. What do I think about it using it in terms of after I've cleansed my skin, after shaving? I do find it heavy. I will be honest. I really do like the moisturizer, but it's not as light as I would like. Now, 
there are so many different terms, moisturising terms, which you can use for both men and women's skin. For men's skin, of course, you can have the serum, okay, which is very, very uh, small molecules easily absorbed into the skin. We've looked at a couple of those recently on the channel. Then, of course, you can have like a gel formation cream, which glides on the skin, sits very, very light and fresh. Uh, and of course, then you've got the moisturiser with sun protection factor. So I naturally think straight away that that's going to be a little bit more heavier. I really do like it and it soothes my skin after shaving. This morning was quite a bit aggressive for some reason on my skin. I've used exactly the same method. I thought I had it and I think I do have the, the method of doing it, but perhaps I was rushing a little bit. I start work for very early for six o'clock. So I was getting ready sort of uh, way before that time. And um, so I'm putting this on. It soothes that sort of if you get an irritation from shaving really, really nicely. It really energizes the skin. And I find that it really, uh, it gives you that, that health, that vitality sort of zing about your skin. When you're not feeling gross or if you're a bit stressed, you know when you haven't got that. You look in the mirror, perhaps you've only slept a little bit. You look in the mirror and you think, okay, it looks like I'm just about to go to bed, but I'm not. I'm waking up. I haven't got that zing. I haven't got that flare. I haven't got that energy in my skin. This really does pack a punch in your skin. You've got those great natural ingredients in here. It really does get to work. So some great benefits here where I do have some health problems and I don't sleep particularly very well and with one thing in other words stress here I can get quite dark under the eye here and almost quite sallow quite drawn um, and I do find that because of course just at the moment where we're in a little bit more humid conditions in this part of the world and of course we're approaching uh, sort of uh, we've, we've just started our summer but we're approaching as we climb up to being much more hotter in terms of throughout the day and possibly quite humid conditions at night as well then you're going to perspire so you don't necessarily want a product which is going to hang around now as much as i love this product in terms of really refreshing my skin and energizing and all those great benefits and really packing a punch at making me look awake energized and how i want to feel even on a day where i'm not feeling so great or i possibly haven't slept very well this is amazing really great now it would be perfect if it was a little bit more lighter and it didn't hang around because unfortunately it does say non-greasy and when i purchased this on amazon it also says non-greasy and it shows a guy on amazon uh, applying quite a bit actually in a straight streak on the face uh, by the cheek area and it shows a lot and it's pure white now what i don't like about this is that if you, very much for me, moisturizer will be the last thing I apply. Uh, so I will apply it, then I'm usually going on about what I'm gonna do, or if I'm going out the door, one thing or another. I do not want it to look like I've applied a sun cream and it's made your face white. And I want it to absorb immediately, and I don't want there to be a hang around effect. There is, sadly, with this product. So that would be the only th negatives I would say about it, which of course, sadly, are quite big negatives. I would purchase the product again, I'll be honest, I don't use it because of that fact every single day, but I do like it. As I say, after shaving, use it this morning, I really, really like it. If I've had a particular day where I need a bit more nourishment, then this is great because it is much more of a richer moisturizer. And of course it is a daytime product because it has got the sun protection factor in here as well. So the great fact, I know it's protecting me from the rays of the sun, so that's amazing, prevention is better than cure. And I know it's got the ingredients in here to look after any sort of aging effects, any kind of potential preventative measures, fantastic on all angles. I do find though that just sadly, it just lingers a little bit too much. For example, it does almost, I find sort of make the skin almost a little bit tacky in places, particularly around the eyes, sort of um, sort of brow area as well. It's just a little bit too rich, a little bit too sort of thick, and it does hang around. And what you'll notice is there's quite a sheen, and I don't like that. I know a lot of people uh, won't mind, um, and I know there are a lot of products out there for men now. What you can use for a shine on your skin, even coloring, sort of makeup products and things like that. That's not me. If that is you, then fantastic. Great. You know what works for your skin. For me, it's not. Um, I like skincare to deliver. I like it to mattify. and I don't like it to hang around. I like to look fresh and energized like we all do, but I don't like to feel as though there's a product still hanging around halfway through the day. And sadly with this, that is the case. So I'm going to show you actually a little bit of it now. It's very rich and the, and the color of it, it is exactly like sun cream. So again, just on my hand, just so you can see. And it applies really, really nicely. It absorbs into the skin nicely, but do you know what? It just hangs around. So straight away, this is what I don't like. And I'm just going to rub it in my cheek areas here. And you can see it's literally like I have rubbed sun cream in. 
and it hangs around and you know even after taking some time to to sort of work the product in by the way my skin's getting red not because of the product just because of course i'm touching my skin you massage your skin then you're going to have that reaction of blood flow to the surface so it is going to just change color but for me it, it's not uncomfortable it's not itchy it's really nice and soothing it doesn't bring me out in a rash at all but it is just that little bit greasy and that little bit too sort of hangs around after a couple of hours of wearing it i mean i applied on my forehead this morning um and it's still there and it's sort of like it's 20 past five i don't necessarily want the product on here so for the being out in the sun, great, it's going to look after my skin. Possibly in the winter when I'm going to the office and I'm in meetings and I've got a really nice smart suit on and everything like that and I want to look my best. Not a product I would probably wear with the sheen. Um, yeah, as you can see, it is a bit shiny. But for some people that might be absolutely fine. As a lot of my subscribers know when we talk about skincare, my hands are really ultra dry um, and I get a lot of problems with my skin on my hands there. So I take a little bit of the product usually through my hands, but even now, normally I would be telling you the products I choose, I can touch my mouse, I can touch my keyboard, my screen, my camera, I can't do that with this. So just bear that in mind. As I say, it is great. It's got some fantastic ingredients. It really does deliver on terms of energy, sort of almost plumping the skin, really bringing that energy in the skin. And you can see the redness soon dies down. It really does kind of almost tone the skin really, really nice and fresh and zing and healthy, but it just hangs around a little bit too much for me. So on a warm day, when you've got a product which is almost sitting on your face, um, not my favourite, but I wouldn't say that I wouldn't recommend it because I would. I really like it. It is a very nice product, but I think you just have to explore for yourself because if somebody with oily skin was to use this and it said that it's non-greasy, I really don't think that is for sort of an oily type. Now, I did mention that sometimes I my skin can become a little bit oily, but because it is quite often dry as well, I've got that combination. This works well for me. Not every day. So it may just be a product which we explore with. You keep for sunny days if you're going out and you want to use it a little bit more. You can, of course, it's a protective moisturiser. It doesn't just say the face. So, for example, from different previous holidays and doing a lot of travelling in the sun, I've got a few brown patches on my shoulders. Not too many, but I know they're there. So I like to use a bit more of a preventative measure now because I don't necessarily want that to get worse. I'm not vain, but I just don't want to, of course, expose myself to sun damage. So I have used, I think I did... Yesterday, it may have been the day before, I went out with my brother for quite a long walk and I used some of this um, and it was fine. It was really, really great. It didn't sort of cling under what I was uh, wearing. I was wearing a vest like this, so it didn't really cling under sort of the, the top of it or anything like that at all. It was just nice. But however, because I've been working in an office today, I've been working from home um, and it's just a bit much not really my favourite choice. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of a picture of this product. As I say, I would recommend it. Explore. Um, Cost-wise, £6. It's a great moisturiser. It's got some great products in there as well. And yeah, I think it's personal preference on this one. So not terrible, not excellent, but certainly good and certainly worth trying. On that note, God bless, take great care, and I will look forward to seeing you real soon. Bye for now.